All right, guys. Hey, I got another update on the razor and a couple of things that I've done to it, or I should say one major thing that I've done to it. And that was on startup and for running for about 10 seconds, you'd hear a really loud knocking sound. It sounded terrible. And the solution that I found for that was the cam chain tensioner assembly. The factory ones are hydraulically driven, so they wait for oil pressure to build up and they fail all the time. So let me go ahead and show you what I've done to remedy okay, First that. things first, you're going to want to take off the cover to your valve cover or your oil fill and then remove the oil fill cap. And if you look right in there, you can see a cam lobe right there. You're going to want to turn your engine until that cam lobe is pointing up. Best way to do that, come around here, go to your clutch cover assembly, remove the hose, the breather hose, and the screws all around it. And then you get your primary and your secondary clutch. Rotate your primary clutch counterclockwise this way, uh, slowly. It's easier if you have two people so you can be rotating it and checking that cam lobe at the same time. If not, just do it little by little and then keep looking up here until you see that cam lobe pointing upwards. When you do that, you then have released most of the tension off of the cam chain tensioner and cams come down here and here's where your cam chain tensioner sits now that's the one i put in for aftermarket that's the new one the factory one and i think the factory ones go from 2014 to 2016 and then in 17 i think they changed them if i remember right so the factory one will pretty much just kind of look like that it's just a hex head like a bolt sticking out You'll take a 27 millimeter and or a 1 and 1 16th inch wrench, loosen that up, pull it out. It's got kind of long threads. And then this one comes actually disassembled. This one, there's a bolt here, a bolt here, and a bolt on the other side. And then you got the aluminum, the built aluminum piece, and then you've got the tensioner assembly itself. And then inside the built aluminum, there's going to be a rod that slides back and forth. There's a gasket in between these two, and then there's actually a seal right here in between the, the head and then also the, the billet aluminum piece. So when you put it together, I actually put these two together off the machine, made it much easier that way, with just the two bolts on each side. And then I screwed it in there with the seal there. And then once it's screwed in and kind of snugged up and tightened up, there's a little tab right here that you'll pull out and then you'll hear it like click because it'll shove that rod into the cam chain tensioner, the, the guide, tightening it up. You put the bolt in here along with a, an O-ring, and, I mean, simple as that. Put the oil filler cap back on. And, I mean, like I say, super duper easy. Some people say that you have to take the valve cover off, and the main reason why they do that is because it helps them check timing. But this is my first startup in the really cold weather. You can see everything's frozen. Let's see what she sounds like. And there you have it. Just like that, rattle noise gone. It was literally probably a 20 minute process and we had this thing up and running, sounding like new. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. See you guys.